Today we're going to learn about something called an event inside jQuery. And an event is basically when a user goes to a website and does something, and then after doing it, something happens inside the website. So when this does actually happen, we usually say that an event has been fired. So we're going to talk about these events in this episode, and there's actually quite a few of them. There's actually a lot of events inside jQuery. So we're not going to talk about all of them. We're just going to take a few examples so you guys know exactly what events is. Now, in case you guys are interested in learning about the other events we have inside jQuery, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description so you guys can check that out afterwards. Now, inside my website here, I made a few examples in order to show you guys what exactly an event does inside a website. So if I were to go inside my website, we're going to go ahead and actually do it first. And then afterwards, I'm going to show you guys the code. So inside my website, you guys can see I have a few examples of paragraphs and each paragraph has a piece of text. Now, if we were to actually do what the text tell us to do, you guys will notice that the text will actually disappear once we do so. So if we were to go to the first one that says hover me, if we were to hover, you guys can see it disappears. If we were to click on the next one that says click me, it disappears. If we were to double click the next piece of text, like it says so, it disappears. Now the next one actually says leave me alone, which means that, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move my cursor outside the text and it disappears. So we can do a bunch of stuff when it comes to jQuery, when it comes to these events. And it's not only when we use the mouse or something, we can also do stuff when we use the keyboard or if we were to do something with a form inside a website, there's a bunch of things we can interact with in order to do something inside a website using jQuery. Now the last one here says press enter. And just to show you guys an example that doesn't involve making stuff disappear, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what happens when I click enter. And as you guys can see, now we've got a navigation inside the website. So if we were to click enter again, it disappears. So we can keep doing this if we want to inside this little example here. But the main point is that we can do stuff using events. So if we were to go inside the code, just to show you guys the events that I chose inside my document here. Now, again, I'm just gonna take it from the top because as you guys can see, I did include a style sheet because I had to style the navigation I needed to show you guys at the end. Um, and then I also went ahead and included the navigation that you guys saw. And again, this is not jQuery, this is just basic HTML. But just so you guys don't get confused about, you know, where's the navigation at, it's inside my HTML document, okay? Now, this down here is actually what we want to focus on because these are the paragraphs that I did stuff to in order to actually do something. So the first one here has an IDSP one that says hover me. Then inside my jQuery down here, as you guys can see, first of all, I started up my document ready function that basically says inside the jQuery, once the website is done loading, then it should start loading all these functions down here. Now, the first piece of jQuery code says I want to get an ID called P1, which was the first one up there. And once I hover on it, which is the event, then I want to do something. So the hover here is the event to be fired once we did something inside the browser. Now, the next one down here has a IDSP2, meaning that we're taking the next paragraph here that has an IDSP2, and once I clicked it, something needed to happen. And again, I just simply hit it from the website. Then the third one, which was the double click, I just included a double click event instead, and so on and so on and so on. So as you guys can see, we also have something with the mouse. There's a bunch of events that we can use inside our code. Now, the last example I showed you guys with the menu is a bit more complicated than the other ones. Again, it's not really complicated, but if you haven't done jQuery before, it might seem a bit complicated. So the basic thing I want to explain here is that I did actually uh, use an event called key press that did something once I clicked the enter key. And again, it went ahead and showed the navigation and it went ahead and hit it after I clicked it again. So I'm not gonna get too much into this jQuery function here because it's not really relevant to today's subject. But just to show you guys a few examples of what exactly events are, these are events, this is what they do. And if you guys want to see more of them, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link in the description. And again, there's so many, I can't show off everything inside this episode. Now, before ending off the episode, I want to mention one more thing I did not in the previous one, we've talked about syntax. Do notice that each time you write a line of jQuery code, we close off the code with a semicolon, okay? So this is basically one line of code. And then inside this line of code, I have a second line of code, which again, I close off with a semicolon. So just to make sure you guys remember that, make sure you close off your code, otherwise stuff is not gonna work. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.